Um, the joint infrastructure operations continue to work on stabilizing and bringing New Orleans uh, back online. Um, thank you to everybody doing it, all the, the men and women upstairs, the men and women uh, in the streets doing this work. It's incredibly complex at this time. We had a big weekend, a lot of work going, nothing stopped. Um, DPW has, I'm going to start with Public Works and go on down through a few things. DPW has now cleaned 401 catch basins. Crews were focused yesterday on Esplanade between North Derbany and Rochablave and Opelousas between Elmira and Pacific. Um, Councilwoman Palmer, I'm sure you like that. The emergency contract drain line and catch basin inspection and cleaning uh, contract should be advertised today and in place later this week. The, group, the goal of that program is to clean more than 6,000 catch basins and 120,000 linear feet of drain line of the debris that during this event floated up and went into our, our, our catch basins and um, our subsurface drain uh, system. Um, how are we going to determine which catch basins get um, part of this program? 311 cases that came in during the emergency declaration, number one, and locations where our debris teams from parkways, sanitation, um, the National Guard have cleared a substantial amount of debris. So you may not see the debris, like you see the debris is gone um, if you're driving down the street or walking down the street, but there's plenty under the street in the drain system. We're just trying to get that out of there um, so it doesn't sit there like it did for years after Katrina. Um, DPW is setting up an emergency contract for street light and street signpost damage assessments. Contractor will be selected today and assessments start this week. We have, I think, over 540 uh, stop signs that are out there. They're A-frame stop signs. Um, I have to discipline myself to do this when driving throughout the city. Even if you don't see one, if you see a down traffic light, it's a four-way stop sign. Stop. Stop. Drive slowly. It is a very dangerous place out there in our city, particularly at nighttime. And we have men and women working everywhere throughout this city. Drive very slowly. Look out for them. They have families and children um, just like you do. And they want to get home uh, to see them at the end of the day. Uh, we work, we will work, excuse me, we will resume work on the sewage and water board and DPW joint infrastructure program. We're tracking for this Monday, September 13th. We're not going to start all the projects because we have so much debris work and so many lines, men and women out there. Um, we're not going to start them up simultaneously because we need to ensure there's power um, and there's not other work going on. The Claiborne uh, Auto Pound at 400 North Claiborne. Uh, is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can go retrieve your vehicle if it was towed. We have 441 city-owned facilities. We've completed post-damage assessments on 138 of them. That number climbed about 50 over the weekend. A supplemental contract is currently advertised for emergency repair assessments of city-owned facilities. The committee is meeting right upstairs right now to uh, focus on that, and that will be noticed to proceed uh, today. We do have one uh, building, we mentioned this earlier, Municipal and Traffic Court. It is grievously damaged. Um, that's good because we're scheduled to do a full renovation of it. We're working with uh, the judges there to figure out when to get that back online and what the temporary fix is. Um, sanitation. The city departments and contractors have cleared over 500 miles of city right away. That's up 200 miles since Friday, which is a huge amount of work over a weekend. Curbside solid waste collection resumed on Thursday and is continuing. Though many of you have Thursday days, you left your can out there, you're screaming and cursing the heavens and it's not picked up. It should be picked up today and then we'll move on to the Friday and Saturday route. So we're a few days behind because our contractors are at 30% capacity right now. We had good news this morning that um, Metro, our contractors, uh, natural gas um, production site became online with Entergy, so they should be uh, cooking with gas literally today. They've got 12 trucks moving. Um, we do have a tremendous amount of trash. The French Quarter normally takes two hours to clean. Last week we cleaned it, it took nine hours. The reason is people are emptying the refrigerators, it's everything. Put all the putrid, disgusting things into your 95 gallon uh, can. There's a lot of liquid trash, a lot of stuff people are throwing away from their, from their houses. Put it in your city trash can. Don't put it in a bag. Put the nastiest of the nasty in the city trash can. It's starting to smell out there. Let's try and minimize that smell um, and let's keep it in that 95 gallon um, city trash can. Um, right now we're finding that it's taking an enormous amount of time to pick up the trash. Usually our trash trucks can hit four or five blocks and then go to the landfill to do drop off. They're doing one block right now and then having to go to the landfill. That's how much is out there. That's why it's taken a while. Um, we, uh, city contractors, focus, excuse me, last thing on this issue. Recycling has been postponed indefinitely. We can't do recycling in the wake of this storm. It's unfortunate. 
Um, big, it's unfortunate, but we will get back to it, um, we promise. The um, debris, we were going to start picking up debris tomorrow. If you have debris, whether it's trees, shingles, whatever, pile it on your curb. Don't put it in the street. The reason we don't put debris in the street, we got a little bit of pushback on this. It's dangerous for cars. It's dangerous for people. Put it between your sidewalk and your curb. And we have very specific instructions on how to do that via Nola Ready. Put that debris out there. Our first pass of three passes for every disaster like this, we have three passes. First pass starts tomorrow. We won't get to your neighborhood in all likelihood, but the work starts. We're going to start telling folks when those passes are happening a little bit more. Um, I cannot tell you which neighborhood. We're going by the most amount of debris. It's a very um, shotgun blast like structure. The third pass, we will be very public about when that uh, is coming. Um, all residents continue to return to the city. Um, as you continue to return to the city, um, just be aware, when you go into your house, it can be pretty nasty. Get that stuff put in the can. Um, forestry continues to remove obstructions from right of ways and, and now public trees that have fallen onto structures. We punted for about a week on getting the trees that are on homes. Now we're doing that work because we had to focus on the trees and right of ways to get the power back on. With the National Guard, big shout out to the Florida National Guard and the Louisiana Guard. Those men and women are fantastic. Those guys are tough and they're out there all over the city. We've completed 215 work orders out of 450 calls for service. Parks remain closed, including Joe Bart Golf Course, and we're starting to transition into removing all the debris from our parks, which is a big deal. Um, we want those parks ready for you all when, when you get back to town or when you want to get out of your house. Um, grounds maintenance is shifting to clearing right of ways um, at all of those major parks and we're picking up trash in all of our parks today um, as it relates to um, continuing to push debris and get that getting those debris out today we're starting um, with normal grass cutting on reed boulevard to get grass cutting on track we got to remove that debris get it out and then mow the lawn all right this is a big new thing today mosquito and termites we're on day eight Mosquitoes take, I think, 10 to 14 days to turn from, larva. thank you, no, no, like it was even before larva. Okay. The notion of wanting to have children, mosquitoes, <laughs> first date or third day, whatever you want to call it, to con from conception to hatchery is 10 to 14 days. We're getting into that nasty part. So. To stop mosquitoes from breeding, eliminate standing water around your home, remove trash and clutter and dispose of discarded tires and containers that can hold water, turn over wading pools, buckets, trash cans, children's toys, or anything that could collect water, check weekly and remove standing water from tarps and stacked plastic bags with debris, change water weekly in containers that cannot be removed such as pet dishes or bird baths, scrub the side of containers with soap and a sponge to remove any mosquito eggs. You may dump it but they'll still come back, the resilient little guys. Rain barrels and other water collection devices must be screened and collected water should be used within one week. Um, air rate or ornamental pools, fountains and sugar kettles or stock them with fish. That is a great idea. Report mosquito problems, illegal dumping, water leaks and unattended swimming pools by calling 311. Swimming pools and hot tubs. This sounds like a nice leisurely thing. This is a very real thing. Swimming pools must be fenced. If you fence, if your fence has been damaged, install temporary fencing immediately. There are children out there. That's hugely important. Once the power is restored, circulate the water to prevent mosquitoes from laying their eggs in water. If your residence or pool is damaged and the pool cannot be turned, you can't get home, you can't fix it, notify Mosquito Termite and Rodent Control Board by calling 311 and we will show up with larvicide or release mosquito fish. We will dump a bunch of fish in your swimming pool so they can eat the mosquitoes so you don't have to. Sewage and water board. Sewage and water board, largely um, wastewater, keep reducing it. Drinking water is great. We're exporting our water to neighboring parishes. Um, our drinking water is great, but just uh, when you take a shower, don't take too many of them. When you, when you um, uh, are flushing your toilets, you know, do it like in the Navy. You know, uh, one, leave it. Number two, flush it. Um, we're trying to really push our, our wastewater to get back online. Um, the treatment plan on the East Bank now has Entergy Power. They are bringing operations up slowly. They are still in emergency protocol at this moment. All turbines are online that are operating. Um, we're looking really good for the sewage and water board. Um, finally, the mayor covered Entergy again. By the end of the day, they're tracking to be 70%. 
um, online. They are supporting our cooling centers. Can't thank Entergy particularly, um, their, their generator team enough for, for really taking our, our priorities. Telecoms, I'm sorry, this is probably important. Um, telecoms uh, info stays the same from last week, but uh, Cox is now 35% online. They were reporting 0% yesterday. So Cox is trailing Entergy. Um, as soon as Entergy comes online, Cox is running in there. Big shout out to Jonathan Rhodes for making that connection. Cox has assessed all of their um, service area. They found that not uh, 50 miles was found to be damaged. That was up 30 miles from last week. And they are offering customer credits, late charge reversals, and all sorts of nice stuff. Big shout out for T-Mobile, who's given out 2,000 portable chargers at cooling centers and more than 600 phones with unlimited talk, text, and data for 30 days to our residents who most need it. Really, thank you, T-Mobile and some of the telecom companies out there. Um, pet abandonment and animal safety, look out for our furry flying and reptilian friends. If you see a problem, please call 311 to report a neglected animal. If it's aggressive or hurt, call 911 to report that. Um, one more thing, RTA, all bus routes are to a modified Saturday schedule beginning today. Buses are covering Canal and St. Charles streetcar lines. The streetcar is down, but we're covering with a bus from 6 to 6. All fees are waived. If you have any questions, call RideLine 504-248. 3900 ride line 504-248-3900 please watch out for the men and women doing the important work of bringing the city back give them a big thumbs up or holler out your window thank you drive slowly thank you